someone left a comment and said, what's the story with the headlights? And uh, I know what they're getting at. <laughs> one side is the low beam and one side's the main beam. And there are daytime running lights in there as well. So there's a little imbalance there. On the launch, the Triumph marketing team made all the journos ride around with their high beams on, which to me, I don't know, I think that's a little bit disingenuous to be perfectly honest. If you designed a bike like that, just bloody own it. And, and you know, that's the way you designed it. So I don't know, it's almost like trying to make an apology for the bike before it's launched. So, you know, I thought that was a bit uh, a bit off actually. I'm not criticizing the bike specifically for saying, oh, it only has one headlight on one side and it's a bit imbalanced. I knew that before I bought the bike. If I didn't like it, I could have not bought the bike. You know? <laughs> if you're asking me, would I prefer to have, you know, two low beams and two high beams on each side? I would, of course, for a bit of symmetry. But there's something Triumph could have done about it, and, and, and they didn't. And it's down to this switch gear on the left-hand side. There's no light switch. There's no on-off switch for the light. So they're doing this kind of North American system where the low beam light is always on, regardless. We don't have to do that in Europe. Uh, we can have a maximum visibility uh, daytime riding light. And what happens uh, when you put your low beam on, the daytime riding light dulls down. You see it happen on a lot of cars and a lot of bikes. That's what that GS does. That's what my Tiger 1200 did. But it, uh, that's not reserved for high-end bikes, you know. So there's no on-off switch. So I can't switch off the main beam. It also means that this is no longer my flashlight. This is for toggling the main beam on and off. So if you want to actually flash somebody, you've got to kind of do it twice. It's a bit of an ass. Now, it's not a killer. It's nice to have a flash. It does mean, though, if I'd stuck with the European system of doing things, I could have had my main lights off and just had both my daytime riding lights on for a lovely bit of symmetry, which was what exactly was on my Tiger 1200. The lighting system on this bike has kind of almost gone all the way back to this Ninja, uh, this 2004 Ninja, which is a US import. Okay, this is my equivalent of my main beam and low beam, which I have on the front of the Tiger, but I've no flash to pass on this either. And you have no choice. When you put the ignition on in this, the uh, low beam is lit automatically. But there's no daytime riding light on that. There's no daytime riding light on this CB1100 either. But uh, my low beam is on all the time, but I have a separate switch like the Ninja for high beam, which does mean I have a flash again. So we've even regressed from this bike and gone back to something a bit more like this, where you have no choice. You've got your low beam on all the time and you can switch your high beam on. And there's no flash on that. Here's the old left-hand switch gear from my Tiger 1200. It failed. Um, it wasn't Triumph, so it was my fault. Um, it failed. Uh, here's my light switch on the left here. Uppermost position is daytime riding light on main lights off and that's a really bright daytime riding light you switch the lights on which puts the low beam on and the daytime riding light dims uh, which is which is a by law sort of thing and then I've got a flash switch at the front so if they'd had an independent control to switch the lights on they could have had full power daytime riding lights that would have given the bike some symmetry but they've gone for this switch gear which just doesn't allow you, it just doesn't allow you to do that. I, ca I can't believe they would have put two daytime riding lights in there and uh, have them at uh, half mast, if you know what I mean, because they've got a light on all the time. It, it, it does mean they've got a lighting system that, that probably sorts them in most parts of the world. Uh, but I don't know, I, I would rather two nice daytime riding lights on the front of that. With the lights off, it looks great, but you can't switch the lights off. Let's have a look. So you can see the two daytime riding lights at these bottom corners. But you've also got the main dip headlight there. What they made them do on the launch is stick on both main beams to give the lights some symmetry. But those daytime riding lights won't be at full illumination because they have to dip them when they have main lights on. So it looks cool there, of course. And that's what they made them use on the launch. Both lights on at the same time. So that's the story. Look, it, you know, the engine is so brilliant in this bike and stuff. It, it, 
Look, it, it didn't stop me from buying the bike, but I copped it straight away. At least, actually, some of the journalists uh, brought this up and said, Triumph have made us put on both lights. That's how you're going to be driving most of the time. I think it's a missed opportunity to have daytime riding lights only. Now, that wouldn't uh, sort out the North Americans because they can't have daytime riding lights only, I believe. So that's the light, the front light system on the Daytona 660. Your consolation prizes. <laughs> I love my new indicators. <laughs> They're brilliant. Oh, what next? I've had my first service, quick shifter fitted. What did I think of it?